Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the two different types of people in this world. So if you guys enjoy, and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and let's get started. So type number one is people who put their toilet paper under, and people who put their toilet paper over. Personally, I put my toilet paper over, but... It's your choice. I only put my toilet paper over because it's easier than to pull, but if you put it underneath, it's a little bit more difficult. But it's still up to you guys, whatever you want to do, but if you haven't tried over, then you probably should. Type number two. There are people that put their apps in a folder, and there are people that don't. Personally, I do not put my, or no, I do put my apps in a folder just because then I can see my phone picture and what I put because it's my dog so it's easier to see but otherwise I would put my apps all out and I've seen videos like this before and they put their apps just all out and then it's easier to tap on when you want to go on the app but for me I just put them in a folder because it's easier to see my background picture. Type 3, people who put ketchup all over their fries and people who dip their fries in ketchup. Personally, I dip my fries in ketchup because I feel like then it's less messy and it's just easier to eat. But if you do put ketchup all over your fries, it's a little bit more harder to eat because then you get ketchup all over your hands and then your mouth's messy. So I just do it, I just dip it in my ketchup. But... You know, whatever you guys want to do, but I would say it's easier the way I do it. Type number four is people who cut their grilled cheese sandwiches diagonally and people who cut their grilled cheese sandwiches down the middle. Personally, I cut them diagonally because then you know where to bite because there's corners and it's just easier to know where you're going to bite and you're not going to get messy on your mouth. But if you just cut it in the middle, you don't know where to start because on the corner, you get it on your mouth. In the middle, you get it in your mouth. So it's just like, unless you want to be messy, it's just, you know, not that great. So I would say cut it diagonally if you do not want to get your mouth messy. But if you don't care, well then, I guess you can cut it in the middle. Type 5. So there are people who put their books in a nice stack on their shelf, tallest to shortest, or whatever you do colors rainbow colors whatever or there are people that just like throw their books on the shelf and they're like eh, whatever it's fine I used to just throw my books in the shelf not like actually throw them but just like go over there just put it down and I'm like eh, I'll do it later and I knew that I was going to organize my room but after a while I'm just like okay this doesn't look good and when people come over they can't really see it but it just bothered me so I decided to just organize it, and it made me feel much better. Maybe it's just because I'm an organized person, but I just really liked it when it was organized. But it's up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do. But I would say throwing your books on the shelf isn't the best to look at. If your friends like come over and they see that, maybe that's not the best, but whatever you guys want to do. Type number six, people who like pineapple on their pizza and people who don't. So I like pineapple on my pizza. I don't think it tastes that different. It just, to me it tastes good, but some people really do not like it and they just hate it with a passion. And if you do, well that's just your opinion and you don't like it, but personally I like it. So comment down below if you can. If you can comment, I don't know if you guys can, but if you can, comment down below if you like pineapple on your pizza. Type 7, people who set one alarm and just wake up then. And po people who set like five different alarms or more. So like if you have to wake up at, let's say, 7 and you wake up at 6, they'll put alarm at 6, then 6.01, then 6.02, then 6.03, then 6.04, until they wake up, which makes sense, but that does probably annoy you, because you want to go back to sleep, but I would say just 
uh, put one alarm because then hopefully you'll just wake up and don't press snooze. Um, and if you do, well, I guess it's better if you have a couple to wake you up, but then you keep pushing the snooze, so what's the point, you know? So, personally, I just do one alarm, and at my friend's house, she has an Alexa, and when she sets an alarm, she can't say, she can't push snooze, she has to say it. So, her mom could always come in and wake her up anyway, but still, I feel like Alexa's help a little bit if you don't really wake up, or if you don't like you know, hearing that alarm keep going off, so there's a little tip. Type 8, people who pour milk first and people who pour cereal first. Personally, I pour seal cereal first so I know how much milk I need and it'll soak, that cereal will soak all the way into the milk, but if you pour milk first, you don't know how much cereal you're going to pour, and then you add more milk and then more cereal, and then it just like overflows almost. So I would say pour your cereal first, because then you know how much you, milk you need. To me, it's just way more easier, but whatever you guys do, you know, that's just what you guys think is the best. Whatever, that's fine. And lastly, type 9. There are people that send one long big message, or maybe like this big, and there are people who just send, keep sending messages, like, Blah, 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 And you know how annoying it is to hear bing, 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 while you're trying to do something on your phone or you're not on your phone and you come back to see that? It gets pretty annoying. So it's just easier to have it all thought out in your head and send a big message. And maybe it's, you know, a long message to read, but at least you don't hear binging every two seconds. So I would say that's a little easier to anybody you're texting, or if they do that to you, maybe let them know, and they'll hopefully they'll try to fix that, because that is super annoying. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below, and turn on that notification bell to get notified whenever I post videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!